The character Mara is a character from Buddhist folklore. Um, Mara is often seen in this chapter of Siddhartha's life when Siddhartha is meditating under the Bodhi tree and Mara is trying his best to bring him out of that meditation um, you know, with his tools of seduction, temptation, desire, lust, power, greed. Um, and it's when Siddhartha is able to go beyond Mara and say, I can exist beyond the clutches of your control, is when he becomes the Buddha. So our production is inspired by this character, Mara, but we have interpreted Mara in the context of every one of us. Um, and so Mara, as we see this character, is the mind. One thing that's very important to know that is sort of the basis of our production is this idea that everything that we experience is a creation of our mind. Um, so whether it's the people we experience, the situations we experience, the things that we see with our senses, and even our sense of self. And so that mind in our production is this character Mara. So Mara creates Jiva's world. He creates you know, her relationships, her parents, her friends, her love. Um, he creates her thoughts, her emotions, and so the journey of Jiva is essentially moving from this world that she's so sort of consumed by to a seeking um, for something that exists beyond the world. The world that she's in is constantly changing. It's exciting, it's thrilling, it's addictive, but there's something that she feels that calls her constantly, something from within her, and her journey towards that other sense of self is what this production is about. The two shows that we perform in March at the Esplanade are the first time that we're bringing Mara internationally. We're bringing it outside of the US, outside of LA. We're working with a new cast, um, dancers from India and dancers from Apsara's dance company in Singapore. We have wonderful guest artists coming in, both dancers and musicians. So it really is a coming together for the first time of a lot of different energies. <laughs> Classical dance, I think it's, it's moving in two ways. It is definitely growing in popularity in the sense awareness of Indian culture has increased tremendously. Um, all over the world, but the trend is towards um, bigger productions and the solo, which is what I do, where my heart is and how the dance form traditionally is, I think that is finding it harder to find a place on stage um, because it's a very subtle thing, it's very nuanced, um, it takes a lot for the audience to be involved. It's not passive viewing. It's very active viewing. When you see one dancer on stage portraying various things, creating various scenarios, you have to invest yourself as an audience member and, and bring your own creativity and your own imagination to it. And I think people find it easier to see more people on stage, you know, and, and especially today when it's all about instant gratification. Things come to you right away. You don't really have to figure things out. I actually feel a little embarrassed when people say, you know, I acted in the film Life of Pi. Um, I did, but it was a very small role and it actually came about because I was, um, I was sort of assisting a friend who was the choreographer on the set and um, through that I met Ang Lee and he had me in mind for this role. And, um, and it was a great experience watching him work, watching how it was filmed, how he directed. In a sense, a learning experience because as a choreographer, you are also a director. Um, is this something that I want to do more often? I would love to, sure, but my focus is definitely dance. So um, these things, everything is basically a learning experience as a dancer, as an artist, as a choreographer. And so 